Hey guys, if your WordPress website is not showing up in the Google search results, then don't worry, as in this video, I'm gonna explain why this issue may occur and also some steps you will need to take in order to get your website to appear in the search. So before we start, we need to actually check that our website and pages have been indexed by Google. A very quick and easy method of doing this is just heading over to an internet browser and coming over to google.com. And inside of the search box, we're gonna type in the word site, followed by a colon, and then the URL of your website. So the URL that I'm gonna be checking today is rolled ice cream .co.uk. So I will just type in site colon rolled ice cream .co.uk and hit enter. And you would just need to replace the URL with your own website. Now, if absolutely no results appear inside of Google here, like they don't for my website, then that means that your website has not been crawled by Google at all, which could be the result of a couple of reasons. If you see some of your pages show up here, but not all of them, maybe you just see the home page, but none of the actual content pages. Well, still follow along with the next of these steps, as this could help you get more of your pages indexed. And it's also an important step in ranking your pages in Google and getting them to appear at the top of the search results. If you've typed this into Google and you you see all of your pages appear here and you can skip this next step as it's unlikely that indexing is going to be the cause of your issue. So we are now going to manually request for Google to come and crawl our website and to do this we need to first ensure that we have Google Analytics 4 set up and we have already linked that to our WordPress website. If you're not sure on how to do this then don't worry as I've already created a video on how to do this which will appear on the screen now so I suggest you pause this video and set up Google Analytics 4 before resuming with the next steps. Now once we've linked Google Analytics to our website you will need to head over to google.com and in the search box up here we're going to type in search console and hit enter and then come over to the first web result that displays and we can press start now and ensure that you're logged into your Google account. It must be the same one that is linked to your Google Analytics account. And once we're inside of here, we can come over to the drop down on the left and we need to select add property. Then we will have two options inside of here and we're gonna be using this right one, the URL prefix. And we're just gonna come over to our website quickly inside of another tab. And you need to come up to the top of this URL and copy all of this. And then we can come back over to search console and you need to paste in the URL of your website. Then scroll down and hit this continue button. And if you've set up Google Analytics 4 correctly, you will now see a message on your screen similar to mine that basically says verification was successful and then we can close out of this window and select done. So now we have set up our Google Search Console account, we now need to come over to our WordPress dashboard and from the left here you need to come inside of plugins and we're going to select add new plugin. Then inside of this search box you need to type in all in one SEO and hit enter and we're going to install this plugin here all in one SEO by clicking install now. Make sure you install the correct one as me and by installing installing this, this is going to give us some valuable insights as well as improve our overall website's SEO, search engine optimization, and it will automatically create a sitemap for us, which we're going to shortly be using to submit to Google. So go ahead and press activate. And then from the left, we can come down to all in one SEO and you need to come inside of dashboard. And you'll see a notification here saying, have you connected your site to Google Search Console? And we can just press this button, connect to Google Search Console. And then once again, press connect to Google Search Console. And this is gonna bring up a login page. Just make sure to select your Google account. And we can press continue to this message. And we need to select all here by pressing this select all button. Scroll all the way down and press continue. Then scroll down and we can complete the connection. And then once we've done that, we just need to hit save changes at the top here. And then the last thing we need to do inside of here is come over to our settings from the left inside of reading and we need to ensure this option here discourage search engines from indexing this site is left unchecked and then we can come over to our google search console and once you're inside of your search console come over to the left inside of sitemaps and we need to add a new sitemap and all you're going to type in here is sitemap.xml and then we can press submit and as you can see that's submitted successfully and you should see this success message here and it's discovered three pages within my website. Now, once we've submitted our sitemap to Google, it can take a few days to actually show up in the search results. And you'll see this last red status here, and this will basically tell you the date of when Google last crawled your website. Now, if you want to fast track this process, or there are some individual important pages that we want to appear on Google, then we can manually request these pages to be crawled faster by coming over to the URL of the website. So let's just say I wanted this sample page here on my website to be crawled faster. Then what we could do is we can come up to the URL at the top and select all of this. Then we're gonna come over to copy and head back to Google Search Console. Then at the top inside of this search box, we're gonna paste the URL that we just copied and hit enter. 
And at the top here, you can see this URL is not on Google, but we can press this request indexing button here. And this is going to request for Google to index the URL, which can help speed up the process of your website appearing on the Google search results. And that's it, guys. By following all of these steps, that should have helped you get your website to appear in the search results. If this video did help you, then please drop a like and subscribe. Until next time.